In Hinduism, Hanuman, Sanskrit, Hanuman Iast, Hanuman is an ardent devotee of Rama. Lord Hanuman, known as the Lord of Celibacy was an ideal, Brahmachari, or called Nishtika Brahmachari in Sanskrit and is one of the central characters of the Indian epic Ramayana. As one of the Chiranjivi, he is also mentioned in several other texts, such as the Mahabharata and the various Puranas. Hanuman is the son of Anjani and Kesari and is also son of the wind god Vayu, who according to several stories, played a role in his birth. If yoga is the ability to control one's mind then Hanuman is the quintessential yogi having a perfect mastery over his senses, achieved through a disciplined lifestyle tempered by the twin streams of celibacy and selfless devotion bhakti. In fact, Hanuman is the ideal Brahmachari one who follows the path of Brahma, if ever there was one. He is also a perfect karma yogi since he performs his actions with detachment, acting as an instrument of destiny rather than being impelled by any selfish motive. While Hanuman is one of the central characters in the ancient Hindu epic Ramayana, the evidence of devotional worship to him is missing in the texts and archaeological sites of ancient and most of the medieval period. According to Philip Lutgendorf, an American Indologist known for his studies on Hanuman, the theological significance and devotional dedication to Hanuman emerged about 1,000 years after the composition of the Ramayana, in the second millennium CE, after the arrival of Islamic rule in the Indian subcontinent. Bhakti movement saints such as Samarth Ramdas expressed Hanuman as a symbol of nationalism and resistance to persecution. In the modern era, his iconography and temples have been increasingly common. He is viewed as the ideal combination of strength, heroic initiative and assertive excellence, and loving, emotional devotion to his personal god Rama, as Shakti and Bhakti. In later literature, he has been the patron god of martial arts such as wrestling, acrobatics, as well as meditation and diligent scholarship. He symbolizes the human excellences of inner self-control, faith and service to a cause, hidden behind the first impressions of a being who looks like an ape-man Vanara. Hanuman is stated by scholars to be the inspiration for the allegory-filled adventures of a monkey hero in the C.U.G. Journey to the West the great Chinese poetic novel influenced by the travels of Buddhist monk Xuanzang to, to India. Topic. Nomenclature The meaning or the origin of word, Hanuman, is unclear. In the Hindu pantheon, deities typically have many synonymous names, each based on the noble characteristic or attribute or reminder of that deity's mythical deed. Hanuman has many names like Maruti, Pawansuta, Bajrangbali, Mangalmurti but these names are rarely used. Hanuman is the common name of the Varna semi -ape, semi -man god. One interpretation of the term is that it means, one having a jaw Hanu that is prominent mant. This version is supported by a Puranic legend wherein baby Hanuman mistakes the sun for a fruit, attempts to heroically reach it, is wounded and gets a disfigured jaw. Hanuman. The name derives from the Sanskrit words Han, killed, or destroyed and mana pride the name implies one whose pride was destroyed this epithet resonates with the story in the ramayana about his emotional devotion to rama and sita he combines two of the most cherished traits in the hindu bhakti shakti worship traditions heroic strong assertive excellence and loving emotional devotion to personal god Linguistic variations of Hanuman include Hanumat, Anuman, Tamil, Hanumantha, Kannada, Hanumanthudu, Telugu. Other names of Hanuman include Anjaneya, Anjaniputra, Kannada, Anjanya, Tamil, Anjanudu, Telugu, Anjanisuta, all meaning the son of Hanuman's mother Anjana. Kesari Nandan, based on his father, which means son of Kesari. Maruti, or the son of the wind god Bijrang Bali. 
the strong one Bali, who had limbs anger as hard as a vajra, vajra This name is widely used in rural North India. Sankata Makana, the remover of dangers Sankata. Topic: Historical development. Topic: Vedic roots. The earliest mention of a divine monkey, interpreted by some scholars as the proto Hanuman, is in hymn 10.86 of the Rigveda, dated to between 1500 and 1200 BCE. The 23 verses of the hymn are a metaphorical and riddle-filled legend. It is presented as a dialogue between multiple characters, the god Indra, his wife Indrani and an energetic monkey it refers to as Vrasakapi and his wife Kapi. The hymn opens with Indrani complaining to Indra that some of the Soma offerings for Indra have been allocated to the energetic and strong monkey, and the people are forgetting Indra. The king of the gods, Indra, responds by telling his wife that the living being monkey that bothers her is to be seen as a friend, and that they should make an effort to coexist peacefully. The hymn closes with all agreeing that they should come together in Indra's house and share the wealth of the offerings. <laughs> Tamil roots The Orientalist F. E. Pargata theorized that Hanuman was a proto-Dravidian deity. According to this theory, the name, Hanuman, derives from the Tamil word for male monkey Anamandi, first transformed to Anumant, a name which remains in use. Anumant, according to this hypothesis, was later Sanskritized to Hanuman because the ancient Aryans confronted with a popular monkey deity of ancient Dravidians cooked the concept and then Sanskritized it. According to Murray Emino, known for his Tamil linguistic studies, this theory does not make sense because the old Tamil word Mandi in Kankam literature can only mean female monkey, and Hanuman is male. Further, adds Emino, the compound Anamandi makes no semantic sense in Tamil, which has well-developed and sophisticated grammar and semantic rules. The prominent jaw etymology, according to Emino, is therefore plausible. <laughs> <laughs> Epics and Puranas Hanuman is mentioned in both the Hindu epics, Ramayana and Mahabharata. A 20th century Jesuit missionary Camille Bulk, in his Ramkatha, Utpatiya Vikas, The Tale of Rama, Its Origin and Development, proposed that Hanuman worship had its basis in the cults of Aboriginal tribes of central India. Hanuman is mentioned in the Puranas. A medieval legend posited Hanuman as an avatar of the god Shiva by the 10th century CE this development possibly started as early as in the 8th century CE. Hanuman is mentioned as an avatar of Shiva or Rudra in the medieval era Sanskrit texts like the Mahabhagvata Purana, the Skanda Purana, the Bradama Purana and the Mahanataka among others. This development might have been a result of the Shaivite attempts to insert their Ishta Devata cherished deity in the Vaishnavite texts. Other mythologies, such as those found in South India, present Hanuman as a being who is the union of Shiva and Vishnu, or associated with the origin of Ayyappa. The 17th century Odia work Rasavinoda by Dinakrishnadasa goes on to mention that the three gods, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, combined to take to the form of Hanuman. Topic: Late Medieval and Modern Era. In Valmiki's Ramayana, estimated to have been composed before or in about the third century BCE, Hanuman is an important creative character as a simian helper and messenger for Rama. The character evolved over time, reflecting regional cultural values. It is, however, in the late medieval era that his profile evolves into more central role and dominance as the exemplary spiritual devotee, particularly with the popular vernacular text Ramcharitmanas by Tulsidas 1575 CE. 
According to scholars such as Patrick Peebles and others, during a period of religious turmoil and Islamic rule of the Indian subcontinent, the Bhakti movement and devotionalism oriented Bhakti Yoga had emerged as a major trend in Hindu culture by the 16th century, and the Ramcharitmanas presented Rama as a Vishnu avatar, supreme being, and a personal god worthy of devotion, with Hanuman as the ideal loving devotee with legendary courage, strength, and powers. Hanuman evolved and emerged emerged in this era as the ideal combination of Shakti and Bhakti. Stories and folk traditions in and after the 17th century, began to reformulate and present Hanuman as a divine being, as a descendant of deities, and as an avatar of Shiva. He emerged as a champion of those religiously persecuted, expressing resistance, a yogi, an inspiration for martial artists and warriors, a character with less fur and increasingly human, symbolizing cherished virtues and internal values, and worthy of devotion in his own right. Hindu monks morphed into soldiers, and they named their organizations after Hanuman. This evolution of Hanuman's character, religious and cultural role as well as his iconography continued through the colonial era and in post-colonial times. <laughs> Birth According to Hindu legends, Hanuman was born to Anjana and father Kesari. Hanuman is also called the son of the deity Vayu wind god because of legends associated with Vayu's role in Hanuman's birth. One story mentioned in Eknath's Bhavartha Ramayana 16th century CE states that when Anjana was worshipping Shiva, the king Dasharatha of Ayodhya was also performing the ritual of Putrakama Yanya in order to have children. As a result, he received some sacred pudding to be shared by his three wives, leading to the births of Rama, Lakshmana, Bharata, and Shatrana. By divine ordinance, a kite snatched a fragment of that pudding and dropped it while flying over the forest where Anjana was engaged in worship. Vayu, the Hindu deity of the wind, delivered the falling pudding to the outstretched hands of Anjana, who consumed it. Hanuman was born to her as a result. Anjaneri is considered to be the birthplace of Lord Hanuman. It is located near Triambakeshwar in Nashik, a city in Maharashtra state of India. Some others believe that Anjanadri Hills is the birthplace of Hanuman. It is located near Vijayanagara ruins at Hampi, 70 km from Bellary, a city in Karnataka state of India. While some believe that Lord Hanuman was born in a cave in Anjani Kund or Anjani Parbat in what is now southern Gujarat's tribal dominated Dangs district. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Childhood. According to Valmiki's Ramayana, one morning in his childhood, Hanuman was hungry and saw the rising red-colored sun. Mistaking it for a ripe fruit, he leapt up to eat it. In one version of the Hindu legend, the king of gods Indra intervened and struck his thunderbolt. It hit Hanuman on his jaw, and he fell to the earth as dead with a broken jaw. His father, Vayu heir, states Ramayana in section 4.65, became upset and withdrew. The lack of air created immense suffering to all living beings. This led Lord Shiva, to intervene and resuscitate Hanuman, which in turn prompted Vayu to return to the living beings. As the mistake done by God Indra, he grants Hanuman a wish that his body would be as strong as Indra's Vajra, whereas his Vajra can also not harm him. Along with Indra other gods have also granted him wishes such as God Agni granted Hanuman a wish that fire won't harm him, God Varuna granted a wish for Hanuman that water won't harm him, God Vayu granted a wish for Hanuman that he will be as fast as wind and the wind won't harm him. Lord Brahma has also granted Hanuman a wish that he can move at any place where he cannot be stopped at anywhere, Lord Vishnu also grants Hanuman a weapon which is named as Garda. Hence these wishes make Hanuman a immortal, who has unique powers and strong. In another Hindu version of his childhood legend, which Lutgendorf states is likely older and also found in Jain texts such as the 8th century Dirtakyana, Hanuman's Icarus like leap for the sun proves to be fatal and he is burnt to ashes from the sun's heat. His ashes fall onto the earth and oceans. 
Gods then gather the ashes and his bones from land and, with the help of fishes, from the water and reassemble him. They find everything except one fragment of his jawbone. His great-grandfather on his mother's side then asks Surya to restore the child to life. Surya returns him to life, but Hanuman is left with a disfigured jaw. Hanuman said to have spent his childhood in Kishkanda. Some time after this event, Hanuman begins using his supernatural powers on innocent bystanders as simple pranks, until one day he pranks a meditating sage. In fury, the sage curses Hanuman to forget the vast majority of his powers. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Adulthood. There is quite a lot of variation between what happens between his childhood and the events of the Ramayana, but his story becomes much more solid in the events of the Ramayana. After Rama and his brother Lakshmana, searching for Rama's kidnapped wife, Sita, arrive in Kishkanda, the new king, and Rama's newfound ally, the monkey king Sugriva, agrees to send scouts in all four directions to search for Rama's missing wife. To the south, Sugriva sends Hanuman and some others, including the great bear Jambavan. This group travels all the way to the southernmost tip of India, where they encounter the ocean with the island of Lanka, modern-day Sri Lanka visible in the horizon. The group wishes to investigate the island, but none can swim or jump so far it was common for such supernatural powers to be common amongst characters in these epics. However, Jambavan knows from prior events that Hanuman used to be able to do such a feat with ease, and lifts his curse. The curse lifted, Hanuman now remembers all of his godlike powers. He is said to have transformed into the size of mountain, and flew across the narrow channel to Lanka. Upon landing, he discovers a city populated by the evil king Ravana and his demon followers, so he shrinks down to the size of an ant and sneaks into the city. After searching the city, he discovers Sita in a grove, guarded by demon warriors. When they all fall asleep, he meets with Sita and discusses how he came to find her. She reveals that Ravana kidnapped her and is forcing her to marry him soon. He offers to rescue her but Sita refuses, stating that her husband must do it a belief from the time of ancient India. What happens next differs by account, but a common tale is that after visiting Sita, he starts destroying the grove, prompting in his capture. Regardless of the tale, he ends up captured in the court of Ravana himself, who laughs when Hanuman tells him that Rama is coming to take back Sita. Ravana orders his servants to light Hanuman's tail on fire as torture for threatening his safety. However, every time they put on an oil-soaked cloth to burn, he grows his tail longer so that more cloths need to be added. This continues until Ravana has had enough and orders the lighting to begin. However, when his tail is lit, he shrinks his tail back and breaks free of his bonds with his superhuman strength. He jumps out a window and jumps from rooftop to rooftop, burning down building after building, until much of the city is ablaze. Seeing this triumph, Hanuman leaves back for India. Upon returning, he tells his scouting party what had occurred, and they rush back to Kishkanda, where Rama had been waiting all along for news. Upon hearing that Sita was safe and was awaiting him, Rama gathered the support of Sugriva's army and marched for Lanka. Thus begins the legendary Battle of Lanka. Throughout the long battle, Hanuman played a role as a general in the army. During one intense fight, Lakshmana, Rama's brother, was fatally wounded and was thought to die without the aid of an herb from a Himalayan mountain. Hanuman was the only one who could make the journey so quickly, and was thus sent to the mountain. Upon arriving, he discovered that there were many herbs along the mountainside, and did not want to take the wrong herb back. So instead, he grew to the size of a mountain, ripped the mountain from the earth, and flew it back to the battle. This act is perhaps his most legendary among Hindus. In the end, Rama revealed his divine powers as the incarnation of the god Vishnu, and slew Ravana and the rest of the demon army. Finally finished, Rama returned to his home of Ayodhya to return to his place as king. After blessing all those who aided him in the battle with gifts, he gave Hanuman his gift, who threw it away. Many court officials, perplexed, were angered by this act. 
Hanuman replied that rather than needing a gift to remember Rama, he would always be in his heart. Some court officials, still upset, asked him for proof, and Hanuman tore open his chest, which had an image of Rama and Sita on his heart. Now proven as a true devotee, Rama cured him and blessed him with immortality, but Hanuman refused this and asked only for a place at Rama's feet to worship him. Touched, Rama blessed him with immortality anyways, which according to legend, is set only as long as the story of Rama lives on, centuries after the events of the Ramayana, and during the events of the Mahabharata, Hanuman is now a nearly forgotten demigod living his life in a forest. After some time, his half-brother through the god Vayu, Bhima, passes through looking for flowers for his wife. Hanuman senses this and decides to teach him a lesson, as Bhima had been known to be boastful of his superhuman strength at this point in time supernatural powers were much rarer than in the Ramayana but still seen in the Hindu epics. Bhima encountered Hanuman lying on the ground in the shape of a feeble old monkey. He asked Hanuman to move, but he would not. As stepping over an individual was considered extremely disrespectful in this time, Hanuman suggested lifting his tail up to create passage. Bhima heartily accepted, but could not lift the tail to any avail. Bhima, humbled, realized that the frail monkey was some sort of deity, and asked him to reveal himself. Hanuman revealed himself, much to Bhima's surprise, and the brothers embraced. Hanuman prophesied that Bhima would soon be a part of a terrible war, and promised his brother that he would sit on the flag of his chariot and shout a battle cry that would weaken the hearts of his enemies. Content, Hanuman left his brother to his search, and after that prophesied war, would not be seen again. <laughs> Attributes Hanuman has many attributes. Chiranjivi, immortal, various versions of Ramayana and Rama Katha state towards their end, just before Rama and Lakshmana die, that Hanuman is blessed to be immortal. He will be a part of humanity forever, while the story of Rama lives on. Brahmachari, celibate, one who control their lust from all materialistic things of material world, he never had any pleasures because his soul, Atman, Merged into Brahman, lust, karma, can't touch him, because he has attained the truth. Karupan Sundar, he is described in Hindu texts as Karup ugly on the outside, but divinely Sundar, beautiful inside. Karma Rupin, he can shapeshift, become smaller than the smallest, larger than the largest adversary at will. He uses this attribute to shrink and enter Lanka, as he searches for the kidnapped Sita imprisoned in Lanka. Later on, he takes on the size of a mountain, blazing with radiance, to show his true power to Sita. Strength, Hanuman is extraordinarily strong, one capable of lifting and carrying any burden for a cause. He is called Veera, Mahavira, Mahabala and other names signifying this attribute of his. During the epic war between Rama and Ravana, Rama's brother Lakshmana is wounded. He can only be healed and his death prevented by a herb found in a particular Himalayan mountain. Hanuman leaps and finds the mountain. There, states Ramayana, Hanuman finds the mountain is full of many herbs. He doesn't know which one to take. So, he lifts the entire Himalayan mountain and carries it across India to Lanka for Lakshmana. His immense strength thus helps Lakshmana recover from his wound. This legend is the popular basis for the iconography where he is shown flying and carrying a mountain on his palm. Innovative, Hanuman is described as someone who constantly faces very difficult odds, where the adversary or circumstances threaten his mission with certain defeat and his very existence. Yet he finds an innovative way to turn the odds. For example, after he finds Sita, delivers Rama's message, and persuades her that he is indeed Rama's true messenger, he is discovered by the prison guards. They arrest Hanuman, and under Ravana's orders take him to a public execution. There, the Ravana's guards begin his torture, tie his tail with oiled cloth and put it on fire. Hanuman then leaps, jumps from one palace rooftop to another, thus burning everything down. Bhakti, Hanuman is presented as the exemplary devotee of Rama and Sita. 
The Hindu texts such as the Bhagavata Purana, the Bhakta Mala, the Ananda Ramayana and the Ramakritmanas present him as someone who is talented, strong, brave and spiritually devoted to Rama. The Rama stories such as the Ramayana and the Ramakritmanas, in turn themselves, present the Hindu Dharmic concept of the ideal, virtuous and compassionate man Rama and woman Sita, thereby providing the context for attributes assigned therein for Hanuman. Learned yogi, in the late medieval texts and thereafter, such as those by Chulasidas, attributes of Hanuman include learned in Vedanta philosophy of Hinduism, the Vedas, a poet, a polymath, a grammarian, a singer and musician par excellence. Remover of obstacles, in devotional literature, Hanuman is the remover of difficulties. Texts. <laughs> <laughs> Hinduism Ramayana The Sandhara Kanda, the fifth book in the Ramayana, focuses on Hanuman. Hanuman meets Rama in the last year of the latter's 14-year exile, after the demon King Ravana had kidnapped Sita. With his brother Lakshmana, Rama is searching for his wife Sita. This, and related Rama legends are the most extensive stories about Hanuman. Numerous versions of the Ramayana exist within India. These present variant legends of Hanuman, Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, and Ravana. The characters and their descriptions vary, in some cases, quite significantly. Mahabharata The Mahabharata is another major epic which has a short mention of Hanuman. In Book 3, the Vana Parva of the Mahabharata, he is presented as a half-brother of Bhima, who meets him accidentally on his way to Mount Kailasha. A man of extraordinary strength, Bhima is unable to move Hanuman's tail, making him realize and acknowledge the strength of Hanuman. This story attests to the ancient chronology of the Hanuman character. It is also a part of artwork and reliefs such as those at the Vijayanagara ruins. Other literature Apart from Ramayana and Mahabharata, Hanuman is mentioned in several other texts. Some of these stories add to his adventures mentioned in the earlier epics, while others tell alternative stories of his life. The Skanda Purana mentions Hanuman in Ramaswaram. In a South Indian version of Shiva Purana, Hanuman is described as the son of Shiva and Mahini, the female avatar of Vishnu, or alternatively, his mythology has been linked to or merged with the origin of Swami Ayyappa, who is popular in parts of South India. Hanuman Shalisa The 16th century Indian poet Tulsidas wrote Hanuman Shalisa, a devotional song dedicated to Hanuman. He claimed to have visions where he met face to face with Hanuman. Based on these meetings, he wrote Ramcharitmanas, an Awadi language version of Ramayana. Buddhism Hanuman appears with a Buddhist gloss in Tibetan southwest China and Cottonese West China, Central Asia and Northern Iran versions of Ramayana. The Cottonese versions have a Jataka tales-like theme, but are generally similar to the Hindu texts in the storyline and character of Hanuman. The Tibetan version is more embellished, and without attempts to include a Jataka gloss. Also, in the Tibetan version, novel elements appear such as Hanuman carrying love letters between Rama and Sita, in addition to the Hindu version wherein Rama sends the wedding ring with him as a message to Sita. Further, in the Tibetan version, Rama chides Hanuman for not corresponding with him through letters more often, implying that the monkey messenger and warrior is a learned being who can read and write letters. 
In the Sri Lankan versions of Ramayana, which are titled after Ravana, the story is less melodramatic than the Indian stories. Many of the legends recounting Hanuman's bravery and innovative ability are found in the Sinhala versions. The stories in which the characters are involved have Buddhist themes, and lack the embedded ethics and values structure according to Hindu Dharma. According to Hira Walker, some Sinhalese communities seek the aid of Hanuman through prayers to his mother. In Chinese Buddhist texts, states Arthur Cotterell, myths mention the meeting of the Buddha with Hanuman, as well as Hanuman's great triumphs. According to Rosalind Lefebvre, the arrival of Hanuman in East Asian Buddhist texts may trace its roots to the translation of the Ramayana into Chinese and Tibetan in the 6th century CE. In both China and Japan, according to Luckendorf, much like in India, there is a lack of a radical divide between humans and animals, with all living beings and nature assumed to be related to humans. There is no exaltation of humans over animals or nature, unlike the Western traditions. A divine monkey has been a part of the historic literature and culture of China and Japan, possibly influenced by the close cultural contact through Buddhist monks and pilgrimage to India over two millennia. For example, the Japanese text Kiranshiyoshu, while presenting its mythology about a divine monkey, that is the theriomorphic Shinto emblem of he shrines, describes a flying white monkey that carries a mountain from India to China, then from China to Japan. Many Japanese shrines and village boundaries, dated from the 8th to the 14th centuries, feature a monkey deity as guardian or intermediary between humans and gods. The Jataka tales contain Hanuman like stories. For example, the Buddha is described as a monkey king in one of his earlier births in the Mahakapi Jataka, wherein he as a compassionate monkey suffers and is abused, but who nevertheless continues to follow Dharma in helping a human being who is lost and in danger. Jainism Pomakariya also known as Pauma Karyu or Padmakarit, the Jain version of Ramayana written by Vimalesuri, mentions Hanuman not as a divine monkey, but as a Vidyadhara a supernatural being, demigod in Jain cosmology. He is the son of Pavangati wind deity and Anjana Sundari. Anjana gives birth to Hanuman in a forest cave, after being banished by her in-laws. Her maternal uncle rescues her from the forest, while boarding his vimana, Anjana accidentally drops her baby on a rock. However, the baby remains uninjured while the rock is shattered. The baby is raised in Hanaruha. There are major differences from the Hindu text. Hanuman is a supernatural being in Jain texts, Rama is a pious Jaina who never kills anyone, and it is Lakshmana who kills Ravana. Hanuman becomes a supporter of Rama after meeting him and learning about Sita's kidnapping by Ravana. He goes to Lanka on Rama's behalf, but is unable to convince Ravana to give up Sita. Ultimately, he joins Rama in the war against Ravana and performs several heroic deeds. Later Jain texts, such as Uttara Purana 9th century CE by Gunavadra and Anjana Pavananjaya 12th century CE, tell the same story. In several versions of the Jain Ramayana story, there are passages that explain to Hanuman, and Rama called Pauma in Jainism, Hanuman, in these versions, ultimately renounces all social life become a Jain ascetic. Sikhism <inaudible> 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 In Sikhism, the Hindu god Rama has been referred to as Sri Ram Chandar, and the story of Hanuman as a Siddha has been influential. After the birth of the martial Sikh Khalsa movement in 1699, during the 18th and 19th centuries, Hanuman was an inspiration and object of reverence by the Khalsa. Some Khalsa regiments brought along the Hanuman image to the battleground. The Sikh texts such as Hanuman Natak composed by Herda Ram Bala, and Das Gur Katha by Kavi Kankan describe the heroic deeds of Hanuman. 
According to Louis Fenwick, the Sikh tradition states that Guru Gobind Singh was a fond reader of the Hanuman Natak text. During the colonial era, in Sikh seminaries in what is now Pakistan, Sikh teachers were called by, and they were required to study the Hanuman Natak, the Hanuman story containing Ramcharit manners and other texts, all of which were available in Gurmukhi script. Sri Guru Granth Sahib, the primary Sikh scripture, outright rejects the validity of supremacy of Hanuman. Bhagat Kabir, a prominent writer of the scripture explicitly states that the being like Hanuman does not know the glory of the divine. Hanumana Sari Garura Samanam Hanuman Sa Garura Samana Beings like Hanuman Garura, Surapati Narapati Nahi Guna Janam Sapa Napa Nahi Gun Jana Indra the king of the gods and the rulers of humans, none of them know your glories, Lord. Topic Southeast Asian texts There exist non-Indian versions of the Ramayana, such as the Thai Ramakian. According to these versions of the Ramayana, Makanu is the son of Hanuman born by Savanamaka, when Hanuman fly over Lanka after firing Ravana Palace, his body with extreme heat and a drop of his sweat fall into sea it eaten by a mighty fish when he bathing and she birthed to Makanu daughter of Ravana. According these Thai Ramakin have lot of false stories because its rewritten version of original epic Valmiki Ramayana actually Hanuman's childhood background and his chosen course never mentioned in Thai version. Thai poets added human physics to gods it's the reason they never know the current background of Hanuman and Ram. Rama is incarnation of Vishnu and Hanuman is the Anch powerful rays of Shiva's body Rudra Hanuman also called Rudravatar. Another legend says that a demigod named Matsuraja also known as Makadwaja or Matsyagava claimed to be his son. Matsuraja's birth is explained as follows, a fish Matsya was impregnated by the drops of Hanuman's sweat, while he was bathing in the ocean. According to Parasara Samhita, Hanuman except Suvachala Devi has his sister form, the daughter of Surya the sun god Suvachala Devi is powerful rays of Surya Surya asked Gurudakshina The Gurudakshina is her daughter Suvachala but Hanuman was a complete celibate Nithya Brahmachari Surya said she will not harm your internal pursuit of Brahmacharya, she is also a celibate Brahmacharini, she is Ionija, born out of womb she is pure, ardent devotee of you Hanuman, she need to complete her education, there is only one who attained Navavyakarana siddhisits you. Hanuman except Suvachala Devi has his sister and he teach her to complete her education and Hanuman gave a boon of knowledge wealth and purity and she went to Vani started chanting the name of Lord Hanuman and she remains celibate. Hanuman merged into Brahman the Almighty and remain the greatest Brahmachari. He is endless supreme being of strength knowledge and devotion, also a Chiranjivi one who never have end. Hanuman in Southeast Asian texts differs from the North Indian Hindu version in various ways in the Burmese Ramayana, such as Rama Yagan, allowing Rama Thagyan in the Arakanese dialect, Rama Vathu and Rama Thagyan, the Malay Ramayana, such as Hikayat Sri Rama and Hikayat Maharaja Ravana, and the Thai Ramayana, such as Ramakian. However, in some cases, the aspects of the story are similar to Hindu versions and Buddhist versions of Ramayana found elsewhere on the Indian subcontinent. Valmiki Ramayana is the original holy text, others are edited versions by the poets for performing arts like folk dances. The true story of Ramayana is Valmikas, sage Valmiki known as the Adhikavi, the first poet. Significance and influence Hanuman became more important in the medieval period and came to be portrayed as the ideal devotee of Rama. Hanuman's life, devotion, celibacy and strength inspired wrestlers in India. According to Philip Lutgendorf, devotionalism to Hanuman and his theological significance emerged long after the composition of the Ramayana, in the second millennium CE. His prominence grew after the arrival of Islamic rule in the Indian subcontinent. He is viewed as the ideal combination of Shakti, strength, heroic initiative and assertive excellence, and Bhakti, loving, emotional devotion to his personal god Rama. 
Beyond wrestlers, he has been the patron god of other martial arts. He is stated to be a gifted grammarian, meditating yogi and diligent scholar. He exemplifies the human excellences of temperance, faith and service to a cause. In 17th century north and western regions of India, Hanuman emerged as an expression of resistance and dedication against Islamic persecution. For example, the Bhakti poet Saint Ramdas presented Hanuman as a symbol of Marathi nationalism and resistance to Mughal Empire. Hanuman in the colonial and post colonial era has been a cultural icon, as a symbolic ideal combination of Shakti and Bhakti, as a right of Hindu people to express and pursue their forms of spirituality and religious beliefs. Dharma. Political and religious organizations have named themselves after him or his synonyms such as Bajrang. Political parades or religious processions have featured men dressed up as Hanuman, along with women dressed up as gopis milkmaids of God Krishna, as an expression of their pride and right to their heritage, culture and religious beliefs. According to some scholars, the Hanuman-linked youth organizations have tended to have a paramilitary wing and have opposed other religions, with a mission of resisting the "...evil eyes of Islam, Christianity and Communism." or as a symbol of Hindu nationalism. Iconography Hanuman's iconography shows him either with other central characters of the Ramayana or by himself. If with Rama and Sita, he is shown to the right of Rama, as a devotee bowing or kneeling before them with a namaste Anjali Asta posture. If alone, he carries weapons such as a big garda mace and thunderbolt vajra, sometimes in a scene reminiscent of a scene from his life. In the modern era, his iconography and temples have been common. He is typically shown with Rama, Sita and Lakshmana, near or in Vaishnavism temples, as well as by himself usually opening his chest to symbolically show images of Rama and Sita near his heart. He is also popular among the followers of Shaivism. In North India, an iconic representation of Hanuman such as a round stone has been in use by a yogi, as a means to help focus on the abstract aspects of him. In recent times, a half-face saffron icon face of Hanuman has become extremely popular in India with the trend of sporting the graphic on cars, autos, trucks and even t-shirts across the country particularly in Bangalore. The artist of this fierce-faced Hanuman piece of art is Karana Charya, a native of Kudlu village from Kasargod district of Kerala said that he had hurriedly drawn this for his friends and was surprised that it has become such a viral rage online and offline. He is also shown carrying a saffron flag in service of Goddess Durga along with Bhairav. Temples and shrines. Hanuman is often worshipped along with Rama and Sita of Vaishnavism, sometimes independently. There are numerous statues to celebrate or temples to worship Hanuman all over India. In some regions, he is considered as an avatar of Shiva, the focus of Shaivism. According to a review by Lutgendorf, some scholars state that the earliest Hanuman Murtis appeared in the 8th century, but verifiable evidence of Hanuman images and inscriptions appear in the 10th century in Indian monasteries in central and north India. Tuesday and Saturday of every week are particularly popular days at Hanuman temples. Some people keep a partial or full fast on either of those two days and remember Hanuman and the theology he represents to them. Major temples and shrines of Hanuman include The oldest known independent Hanuman temple and statue is at Kajaraho, dated to about 922 CE from the Kajaraho Hanuman inscription. Bajrang Bali Hanuman Temple, Lakdikapul, Hyderabad to get success in life. Jakku Temple in Shimla, the capital of Himachal Pradesh. A monumental 108-foot statue of Hanuman marks his temple and is the highest point in Shimla. The tallest Hanuman statue is the Veera Abhaya Anjaneya Swami, standing 135 feet tall at Paratala, 32 km from Vijayawada in Andhra Pradesh, installed in 2003. 
Chitrakoot in Madhya Pradesh features the Hanuman Dara Temple, which features a Panchmukhi statue of Hanuman. It is located inside a forest, and it along with Ramgat that is a few kilometers away, are significant Hindu pilgrimage sites. The Peshwa-era rulers in 18th-century city of Pune provided endowments to more Maruti temples than to temples of other deities such as Shiva, Ganesh or Vithal. Even in present time there are more Maruti temples in the city and the district than of other deities. Other monumental statues of Hanuman are found all over India, such as at the Shling Her Sri Yoga Nursimha Swami Temple and Sri Yoga Anjanya Temple, located in Vellore district. In Maharashtra, a monumental statue is at Neral, Navi Mumbai. In Bangalore, a major Hanuman statue is at the Ragagudda Anjaneya Temple. Similarly, a 32 feet 10 meters idol with a temple exists at Nanganalur in Chennai. At the Hanuman Vatika in Rorkela, Odisha there is 75 foot 23 meters statue of Hanuman. Outside India, a major Hanuman statue has been built by Tamil Hindus near the Batu Caves in Malaysia, and an 85-foot Karya Siddhi Hanuman statue by colonial-era Hindu indentured workers' descendants at Karapichima in Trinidad and Tobago. Another Karya Siddhi Hanuman temple has been built in Frisco, Texas in the United States. Festivals and celebrations Hanuman is a central character in the annual Ramlila celebrations in India, and seasonal dramatic arts in Southeast Asia, particularly in Thailand, and Bali and Java, Indonesia. Ramlila is a dramatic folk reenactment of the life of Rama according to the ancient Hindu epic Ramayana or secondary literature based on it such as the Ramcharitmanas. It particularly refers to the thousands of dramatic plays and dance events that are staged during the annual autumn festival of Navratri in India. Hanuman is featured in many parts of the folk enacted play of the legendary war between good and evil, with the celebrations climaxing in the Dussehra Dasara, Vijayadashami night festivities where the giant grotesque effigies of evil such as of demon Ravana are burnt, typically with fireworks. The Ramlila festivities were declared by UNESCO as one of the intangible cultural heritages of humanity in 2008. Ramlila is particularly notable in the historically important Hindu cities of Ayodhya, Varanasi, Vrindavan, Almora, Satna and Madhubani, cities in Uttar Pradesh, Uttarakhand, Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. Hanuman's birthday is observed by some Hindus as Hanuman Jayanti. It falls in much of India in the traditional month of Chaitra in the Lunasola Hindu calendar, which overlaps with March and April. However, in parts of Kerala and Tamil Nadu, Hanuman Jayanthi is observed in the regional Hindu month of Margaji, which overlaps with December and January. The festive day is observed with devotees gathering at Hanuman temples before sunrise, and day-long spiritual recitations and story reading about the victory of good over evil. Intricate carvings on the walls of Angkor Wat depict scenes from the Ramayana including those of Hanuman. In Cambodia and many other parts of Southeast Asia, mask dance and shadow theatre arts celebrate Hanuman with Reem same as Rama of India. Hanuman is represented by a white mask. Particularly popular in Southeast Asian theatre are Hanuman's accomplishments as a martial artist Ramayana. Indonesia <inaudible> 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 Hanuman is the central character in many of the historic dance and drama art works such as Wayang Wong found in Javanese culture, Indonesia. These performance arts can be traced to at least the 10th century. He has been popular, along with the local versions of Ramayana in other islands of Indonesia such as Java, in major medieval-era Hindu temples, archaeological sites and manuscripts discovered in Indonesian and Malay islands. Hanuman features prominently along with Rama, Sita, Lakshmana, Vishvamitra and Sugriva. The most studied and detailed relief artworks are found in the Kandas Panataran and Prambanan. 
Hanuman, along with other characters of the Ramayana, are an important source of plays and dance theatre repertoire at Odlan celebrations and other festivals in Bali. Topic Thailand Hanuman has been a historic and popular character of Ramakian in Thai culture. He appears wearing a crown on his head and armor. He is depicted as an albino white, strong character with open mouth in action, sometimes shown carrying a trident. In Ramkian, Hanuman is a devoted soldier of Rama. Unlike in Indian adaptations, Ramakian is one of the illogical version, Hanuman also know as celibate god. But Ramakian not mentioned about he is celibate, because the reason is Ramayana and Ramakian are totally different. Ramayana is the part of devotion Sanatana Dharma, it's a culture of India, but Ramakian and other non Indian versions of Ramayana are rewritten by the poets. Ramakian is not acceptable version on India because it have lot of false stories about the current characters according to Paula Richman. Hanuman plays a dominant role in the Thai version of the Ramayana epic, as in the Indian tradition, Hanuman is the patron of martial arts and an example of courage, fortitude and excellence in Thailand. In non-religious pop culture While Lord Hanuman is a quintessential character of any movie on Ramayan, Hanuman-centric movies have also been produced with Hanuman as the central character. In 1976 the first biopic movie on Hanuman was released with legendary wrestler Dara Singh playing the role of Hanuman. Several decades later in 2005 an animated version of the movie Hanuman was released and was extremely popular among children. Following this several series of movies featuring the legendary god were produced though all of them were animated, prominent ones being the Bal Hanuman series 2006-2012. Another movie Maruti Mera Dust 2009 was a contemporary adaptation of Hanuman in modern times. The 2015 Bollywood movie Bajrangi by Jan had Salman Khan playing the role of Pavan who is an ardent Hanuman devotee and regularly invokes him for his protection, courage and strength. Hanuman was mentioned in the 2018 Marvel Cinematic Universe film, Black Panther, where he is shown to be the central deity of a complex Indo-African religion followed by the Jabari tribe from the fictional African nation of Wakanda. The Hanuman Reference was removed in India. Topic. See also Hanuman temples Hanuman Shalisa Hanuman Jayanti Hanuman Asana, an asana named after Hanuman Sun Wukong, a Chinese literary character in Wu Chengen's masterpiece Journey to the West the Six Ultra Brothers vs. The Monster Army Hanuman and the Five Riders Grey Lungur, also known as the Hanuman Lungur